Because you've done some extreme dating. I love the idea of right. your, your Edinburgh show. So explain the, the thing that went on in your Edinburgh show. Yeah, so I wrote an Edinburgh show, I think it was like 2011, and it was basically about dating, but at the end of every show, I would ask someone out in the audience, or I would basically get their mates to sort of volunteer them because no one ever volunteered themselves. It was always like, yeah, you go and like push someone <laughs> forward and you know, everyone else step back. So yeah, I ended up in some quite interesting situations. Because you actually went on a date with Oh them. yeah, I went on the dates oh. afterwards. Oh, yeah, yeah, 100% did How, it. Like, what Well, point? with people watching out for me, <laughs> chaperones, oh, <yeah>. like, <laughs> sitting a few tables away. Um, I also had like a fake gin and tonic that I would, uh, yes, mm, this alcohol, yummy, isn't it just tonic water? <laughs> but um, yeah, there was like a couple of guys that were, well, there was one guy who was lovely, but he had his grown up, he had grown up children. So it's just like, I'm going to be your new mummy. <laughs> um, <laughs> and the, the very first guy I went on this date with, he just looked absolutely terrified. And I took a, a selfie of us and he's just like that <laughs> in the <laughs> selfie like he's this French guy and I'm feeling like I, I don't know if he knows what's going on here like I don't know if he knows he's on a date with me <laughs> and were there any second dates I'm gonna shock you no <laughs> there were no second dates after a month of Edinburgh I know can you believe that <laughs> lot of sex <laughs> okay <laughs> <laughs> but with the date oh. <laughs> So, sometimes it ended in... No, that, that didn't happen. Mum, that didn't happen. <laughs> <laughs> and swings, and, swings and roundabouts, kind of. <laughs> well, there uh, were some swings. There were some swings. <laughs> <laughs>